Hello, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. Danuri, South Korea's first deep space exploration spacecraft has finally arrived at the Moon after a four month journey. The Danuri spacecraft successfully entered orbit of the Moon on Friday, December 17, the Korea Aerospace Research Institute announced. In the next few days, four more engine activations are scheduled to correct the orbit of the Danuri around the Moon before it begins its lunar science missions. Danuri, also known as the Korea Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter, began its long journey to the Moon on August 4, launching on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral in Florida. According to Korea Aerospace Research Institute officials, the lunar probe has traveled more than 3.3 million miles to date. The successful launch put the Danuri into a ballistic near-lunar orbit along with the probe embarked on a 134-day journey, and it eventually entered the polar lunar orbit with an average target altitude of 60 miles above the lunar surface. At 1,495 pounds, Danuri is the first South Korean research mission to go beyond Earth's orbit. The $180 million mission is an ambitious one. The Danuri is equipped with six separate scientific instruments designed to collect a variety of data. Five of these instruments a terrain imaging instrument, a wide angle polarimetric camera, a magnetometer, a gamma ray spectrometer, and the payload for testing new network technologies were developed by Korean universities and research organizations. The sixth payload aboard the Danuri spacecraft is a highly sensitivity shadow cam developed at NASA. It's designed to monitor permanently shadow areas at the lunar poles for deposits of water ice. The data obtained with this instrument may be useful for NASA's Artemis program. Danuri is the first step for South Korea toward more ambitious lunar missions, with plans to land a rover on the Moon in 2032 and on Mars in 2045. Space Daily News. Like, share and subscribe.